let's talk about compound bends. Theorizing that we're building an A-pillar, this angle, looking at it from a side profile, is 35 degrees. This is 90, this is zero. Looking at that head-on, we have a straight piece of tube. However, let's say that we want a standard vehicle profile looking head-on. You know, here's your dash bar, here's your two A-pillars, you have your little, like, you know, V in the middle. So, this tube now looks like this. It's leaned in five degrees, looking head-on. How, then, when we bend this five degrees into it, do we account for that to maintain a 35 degree angle here? And that's actually really simple. I think we all understand um, indexes. So, have a piece of tube. You have 0, 90, 0, 90. When you bend this tube right here, it's in the same plane, so we're indexed zero degrees. When you bend this tube here, we're in a new plane because we're bending it inwards to create this angle, and we are out of um, that index by five degrees. When we chuck this up in our bender, we are going to index this tube in relation to this one five degrees from whatever we decided was our center line on our tube here. All on the same page at this point, right? However, when you clock this, this tube here is going to want to stand up. I want you to, theor or to, to picture something. As this tube rotates, it's going to become more and more vertical as it moves from 0 to 90. So, um, you know, if you thought about us taking what would normally be attached to the B pillar and spinning it across the dash and now making it attached to the other A pillar, by the time you get to 90 degrees, it's standing like this again. Your 35 degree angle is completely gone. So, how then do we make sure that we maintain a 35 degree angle as we rotate that tube? And it's very simple. It is just a ratio. We're gonna take our 35 degree angle, we're gonna divide it by 90, and that's gonna give us uh, 0.38. So, um, if we have a 45 degree angle here that we wanna maintain, let's, let's hypothesize that for a moment. We do 45 divided by 90, and we get uh, 0.5. You're going to take then that ratio and you're going to multiply it by that degree. If it's 45 and we want to maintain a 45 degrees, we would just multiply by 5. So 5 times 0.5 is 2.5. So you would add 2.5 to 45 and you would get 47.5. So back to our original A pillar here, it's 35 degrees divided by 90, we get 0.38. It's five degrees in, we multiply five times 0.38. And um, what is that? That's like just shy of uh, two degrees, basically. So like uh, 1.94, somebody else check the math, I don't know. Anyway, um, basically two degrees. So we're just gonna go 37 degrees. And you, know, you can kind of fudge that at the end. Let's say you want this to be, um, 10 degrees, uh, you know, same thing, you basically double that. Um, let's say we want to maintain 10 degrees on this tube, uh, 10 um, divided by 90 is uh, 0.11 um, times five, basically it's a half a degree, you would then bend uh, this to be 35 and a half degrees so on and so forth. It's it's just a ratio, and it's only between the 90 degrees, so just take whatever this is, divide it by the 90, come up with this number, multiply it by whatever your offset is. 